Hey everybody, it's Coach Hart here uh, with System Basketball. I'm just going live today on YouTube and the Facebook, some of the Facebook groups to discuss post options for your dribble drive motion offense. So, uh, let me know what you guys are doing with your dribble drive if you're going four out five out if you have post players don't have post players uh, some of the most common things I hear with doing these is I love dribble drive but I want to emphasize a post player uh, me personally have never been blessed with a dominant post player one of the reasons why I run the dribble drive is typically uh, my team is six foot five or less I've only had six foot five a few times so with me uh, I chose to go dribble drive because I was smaller it opened up the floor we wanted to penetrate and kick in the last few years I've moved to five out because I've been um, six foot two I haven't had been blessed with post but I'm here to tell you today that you can run the dribble drive with post players and I've put together a little bit of a presentation on some concepts that you can just run to get the ball to your post player inside out of pure dribble drive concepts and also a few sets and entries. Uh, today we're going to look at a lot of Greg Campy from Oakland University stuff. Uh, he's really good at running the, when he used to run the dribble drive. He hasn't ran it for the last couple years. Uh, but... He was, he's one of the better coaches at emphasizing the post play with dribble drive. So Greg Campy, Oakland University is a great study for you. Uh, if you guys aren't following me on social media, uh, you can follow me at Coach Mark Hart on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So let's, before we get started, the other one I wanted to talk to you guys about is if you're not in the Hoop Talk group, uh, Kurt and I run the dribble drive motion Hoop Talk group. You need to check that out. There's over 2,100 coaches in there discussing the dribble drive daily. There's some D1 coaches. There's high school coaches. There's there's D3, D2 coaches. Lots of coaches with great knowledge in there sharing about the dribble drive daily. All right. So let me load up my... my app here for you guys and let's get into let's get into some of this here um, first basic concept guys is your four out one in so you can just swing the ball one to five to three and throw into the post common dribble drive concept is opposite diagonal Opposite diagonal, this player right here, once the ball is thrown, should dive. That puts X2 in a situation because most players' heads turn when the ball goes into the post. So this could be a pass here. And the way I taught this usually was we drop step to score, we looked middle to pass. So we always wanted to probably drop step to score and we would skip it to the weak side or hit the diver on this. What you want to do with three on this entry and five is up to you. You could play splits. You could play Laker cuts. You can just relocate. Uh, it's up to you how you want to handle that. That's a basic, I would call that power. Some people just call that a one, five, three and dump it into the post. But your four out one in is very simple. Uh, doesn't need to be elaborate to get the ball to your post. You're already spaced. The next concept is using the drag zone and using skips. So if you're, if you're penetrating and you're driving, you're wanting to always look to skip the ball. So if we throw the, the one to three skip pass, one's going to, depending on your emphasis one can empty out same side or fill which is a common practice in the dribble drive so if he fills corner again you're looking to dump 
into the post and then you're diving and lifting. Um, some people will keep five out on the perimeter and just want four to have space, not dive them. So you might want to, instead of one going to this corner, you might want to have one empty here, two stay high and wide, and five stay high. And just really isolate it. You don't have to dive, but the diving may get you some easy layups if he's not a real dominant post player. Or she. Um, if you want to get your post player the ball at the elbow area and just get them in an isolation... Easiest way to do it is to run your drop actions. So I like to run drops in angles. So it would set up our drop three. If that's not open, we're going to play pass the ball to the four. And now your four is isolated in the post. And they can get downhill. So they're going to relocate, elevate up. We're going to go pass. We're going to go give and go. If one's not open, they're going to drive right off of there. Now, if you get it in this situation, and you don't like four handling the ball in this situation, four can look to pass out of this and go sprint into a ball screen as well. They don't have to be uh, great at putting the ball on the floor. Now we're going to take a look at some sets or actions to get you the ball inside. Actually, let's go over this one. It didn't load right here. Sorry about that. So here is the here is another loop kick. Loop kick. Where are you? There you go. Loop kick uh, for Wahlberg terminology this is a kick up to a throwback and very simple to get the ball into your post you're going to dribble in and you're going to look like you're running your offense and you're going to go one to two if you're campy school that's a loop if you're Wahlberg school that's a kick up and then you're going to fill corner two is going to throw it right back to the one and now four on any kickbacks is going to duck into the lane and then the same concept, opposite diagonal dives, and the other one fills window. So you got your dribble drive concepts there. One more I want to show you with that with a, a duck in action here that you can run that on any kickbacks or throwbacks. So if say you're gonna go middle penetration, kickback. And then fill, and we throw back here. Four would duck into the lane, and you can look because a lot of times X4 is just sitting in that lane, expecting the drive and helping and not attached to your four. So that's a great opportunity to duck in on any throwback actions up top or passes across. You can post this line, you can make a rule on any pass across, your four can duck in and look to. Look to post. Okay, so now we have some some sets. Here we're going to run an over a a ball screen type through cut, and three is going to go over the top of four and set a screen on his man that's just sagging in the lane, and we're going to duck him. Now you're going to see on video here a little bit what you can do with this. Five, five can slide over here. Three can come up here. Um, if this pass is not available and they did a great job, one can keep his dribble and you can end up playing a two-man game on that side of the floor. Those are some options on the through, through duck. Now we're going to go over a few uh, cross screen action plays for you. Now here is a great one if teams like to switch in the post. You're just going to elevate your two, pass it, and we're going to screen across. 
and on that screen across now one is going to go high post so if they switched it one's going to have a post on him and he can go one dribble drive it or we could go two to one and then go high low on the switch very tough action for them to guard very simple uh, can put that in real fast for your team. Here's kind of a dribble drive America's play. Elevate the two and you're going to do that cross screen again. Five and three are going to kind of exchange. But we're going to form a, stat, uh, a double screen for one to come up to the top. So you got four isolated on the block on a 1-4 uh, screen across, so makes it really tough for teams to switch that. Now, what do you do with three and five? I would empty them. I would empty them out to here. And now if this pass is not available, this pass is not available, you can end up running maybe step up, ball screen, or something on that side of the floor, or swing it swing it and then flow back into your dribble drive motion offense if you're not able to get your post player a post touch this is a uh, very simple uh, dribble entry with the cross screen that greg campy would run a lot he would run this uh triangle triangle offense that he would refer to it as which is just a cross screen screen the screener action again so we're going to dribble at the three cross screen Bring your four to the ball, ball side, and we're going to look to pass. If not, we're going to have a screen the screen action here. Not open. Five can fill to the corner. We can now swing the basketball and flow into the dribble drive motion offense. Again, we can dribble in. This is triangle. And now, um, this is a play I learned from Kurt uh, Gelsdorf. I'm going to show it by setting, you can run this with one going directly to the corner, or you can run it with this brush screen action. I like running it a little bit with this brush screen action, and it gets all five players involved, and it ends up with a potential uh, ball screen in the corner with your five, which is your second uh, penetrating guard. We go one to two, and we go, uh, diagram did not, I didn't diagram it perfectly for you guys. One's supposed to be setting a, a brush screen, so your first option would be to hit five for a layup. Then we're going to pop one, and we're going to reverse the basketball, and now we're going to get into Tex Winner's triangle actions, and we're going to go past three to five. We're going to go back screen for a potential layup. And now we're going to go ball screen two-man game with the five and the four. Five's going to make a read, hopefully maybe get in the paint, make a shot, dump it off to four. If they switch this, we would just read the switch, bump it out, and play two-man game right there and try to get the ball isolated to our four-man. So now I have some video clips to kind of show you guys some of some of the actions that I just animated drawings for you so that you could see a little bit of it on game film. So the first one is, uh, like I said, these are all Oakland. And first one's just running dribble drive motion offense. And they did a kick up to another kick up to a kick back to a skip. So anytime we throw a skip, anytime on a skip, we want to we want to come post up. Okay? As you can see, they're attached to the shooter. There's not great help. This player right here, this player right here is not helping. So you're isolated in the post. 
So there's a great way of just, they were just flowing their offense with an emphasis on this team to get the ball inside. So anytime they threw a skip pass, that player or a throwback, they're going to come to strong side and post. Let's watch that again for you. There's a kick up, kick up, kick back, skip to a post seal. Okay, drew a foul inside. The next one is, again, a skip pass. They're going to throw a skip. There you go, kick back to a skip, and now they're post. As you can see here, look how, how they are face guarding the player in the two corner. Okay. All these players are above the three point line. And the spacing is perfect. So they elect not to. What I showed you on mine is if this player cut, he's probably going to have to help because as you as I said, this player is looking inside on this post. So this player would would fill on that cut. So if he did go middle, which I believe he went baseline drop. I believe he did drop step here. Let's watch it again. Oh, he tried to tried to go for a steal. Okay, now here's the real basic loop, uh, tr uh, Greg Campy terminology, a loop to a kick. So this would be a kickback throwback for Wahlberg followers. There's your loop. There's your kick, and now he's coming strong side. Again, you're really spaced well. Help side is not there. Isolated in the post for your post player. Here's the through duck play. Looks like a flex, kind of like a flex, flex action. So kind of sets a brush screen. He comes over the top and tries to bump off the man and now he's isolated on the block they doubled he could have cut to the rim the spacings there he's isolated if they help you're gonna get those kick out from the post out threes that everybody loves to get but another action right there to get the ball inside to your post player Okay. Next one is just the triangle action. I've, I, you can run this out of a flow in transition. It could be a set. It could be an ATO. It could be off of free throw situations for you. They called it head tap. He dribbles over, cross screen him the block, screen down. Kind of like a, a little bit of flex, flex action, if you will. Okay, so here we go. You dribbled over. You got cross screen action, down screen action. Come to the top. That's the video I have for you guys. Those are the actions I have for you guys. As you could see here, it's very simple 
just keep the floor spaced and and just keep it spaced, keep it simple. You can use cross screen actions, you can go ball screens, you can do lots of things to get the ball to your post player. Uh, if you want more options on the post, Kurt and I did a deep dive on one of the chapters inside of our A to Z course that's available at System Basketball. It's a 13 chapter course. Uh, in that chapter, we went over how to utilize a talented big man. We went over some of these concepts, but even dove deeper into ball screens and, and extra concepts on how to really utilize your post, how to move them out onto the perimeter and put them into DHO situations. So uh, check that out at System Basketball. And thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, smash the like button. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel for so you know when the next uh, live will be or next video I have coming out. So again, thank you guys for your support of System Basketball. I hope you guys enjoyed the dribble drive motion options for your post player today. We'll see you on the next one.